I uh, recently became a father. Thank you. Became a father for the fourth time. Never as much applause on that part. Really no applause, right? Because after the third kid, people stop congratulating you. Then they just treat you like you're Amish. Four, well, that's one way to live your life. Can you build us one of those wood fireplaces? Four kids. Four kids. If you want to know what it's like to have a fourth, just imagine you're drowning, and then someone hands you a baby. The good news is we live in a two-bedroom apartment, so I thought it through. I haven't slept in seven years. I didn't always look like this. I'm actually Puerto Rican. But the wear and tear of parent... I used to have thick black hair. I was muy guapo. No mas. No more guapo. My wife had the baby at home. We had all our babies at home just to make you feel uncomfortable. People don't want to hear about home birth. They're like, oh, you had your baby at home. Yeah, we were going to do that, but we wanted our baby to live. <laughs> People always assume there was some laziness involved. <laughs> you, you didn't want to go to the hospital? It was far. I didn't feel like putting on pants. <laughs> we had our baby at home, not in a field. <laughs> At home? Well, why wouldn't you have it in that germ-infested building where sick people congregate? <laughs> Didn't your wife want to give birth in a gown someone died in yesterday? <laughs> it's just the truth. Home birth is crazy, huh? It was all my wife's idea. I don't even like cooking at home, you know? <laughs> and it's wild, you know? There was so much screaming at one point, I actually woke up. Oh, did someone score a touchdown? Oh, you're having another baby? Can you keep it down? I'm trying to get a tight 12 hours in. Uh, and I was my wife's birth coach, which is a generous title for standing there terrified. There was also a midwife there, because we believe in witchcraft. A midwife? Now, how many wives does this guy have? Sounds like El Qaeda. <laughs> My wife did it. She had four babies in her apartment. She's an amazing woman. Really, all women are amazing, and I mean that in a very pandering way. <laughs> but women are, really. You know, a woman can grow a baby inside their body, and then somehow a woman can deliver the baby through their body and then by some miracle, a woman can feed a baby with their body. And when you think of the male contribution to life, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, really. The guy's always like, you know, well, I helped too for like five seconds doing the one thing I think about 24 hours a day. Well, enjoy your morning sickness. I'm gonna eat me some chili. <laughs> mm, smell those onions. <laughs> you want some? I guess not, huh? <laughs> a baby at home. Babies are a lot of work. I try and pitch in. I do diapers. I mean, I don't change them, but I go, you gotta do this diaper. <laughs> no, we have three other kids too. A seven-year-old, a five-year-old, and a two-year-old. I should probably learn their names. <laughs> Try and be a good dad. I sat the older three down and I explained to them that the new baby does not mean I love them any less, but I will have to let one of them go. <laughs> so if anyone knows of a toddler rescue, maybe we could get Sarah McLaughlin to do the commercial. I will remember. I love that commercial. Even the dogs in that commercial are like, this is a little heavy-handed, Sarah. <laughs> we are just dogs, after all. 
There are still kids starving in Africa, right? I mean... I don't like that joke at all. Why would he put that joke in the special? Four kids. Bedtime is a crisis. That's why I'm here right now. It's too hard. They act like they've never been to sleep before. Bed? What's that? No, I don't want to do that. Then it becomes some hostage negotiation, but in reverse. Look, if you stay in there, I will give you whatever you want. I will meet your demands. What do you want, a helicopter to Cuba? Anything. Just stay in there. There's always one awake. Like they're taking shifts. All right, I'll annoy him from midnight to two. Who wants three to six? Now let's lie down and practice kicking him in our sleep. Because my wife has instituted this open door policy where if one of our kids has a nightmare, they're welcome to come in our room and pee in our bed. <laughs> Luckily, that only happens every night. You ever slept next to someone that's wet the bed? Delicious. You're asleep, right? So when you wake up, your first thought is, oh my God, I wet the bed. <laughs> then your next thought is, eh, it's not that wet. I'll just, I'll just scoot over a little bit. If I pretend to be asleep, maybe she'll deal with it. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Hey, while you're up, can you make me a sandwich? <laughs> Thanks, honey. It is chaos at home. I feel like I'm living with a bunch of drunk people. Everyone's wetting the bed, screaming. It's Jersey Shore, folks. It's like Jersey Shore with a lot more sunscreen. Imagine four miniature versions of me, but not as dark-skinned as me, that need sunscreen or they will die. Don't open the refrigerator, you'll kill yourself! I'm raising vampires. I'm not looking forward to summer at all. Oh, we're going to the beach next week? All right, I'm gonna start putting sunscreen on them now. So take a day and a half. Four kids, I never went outside. I didn't know what a long sleeve sun shirt was. Any long sleeve sun, let me rephrase this. Anyone else with low self-esteem? Swimming in a pool in a long sleeve sun shirt. Hey, what's up, ladies? Everyone looks at you like, did that guy fall in? Hi. Yeah, I'm going to tell him my name. Yeah, I'm going to tell him. I'm not going to tell him to subscribe. Because you know what? That's not what it's about. Oh, there's no more time?